Josh. Got a gentleman just, here. Some, I'm rolling, some you people you just can't fucking do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some Great people job, just though. don't. You ready? Learn. Congrats. Thank you. You ready? Yeah, I've been recording. <laughs> All right, we've got Josh Hayes here today. It's a pretty special day for Josh. He just became the all-time winningest AMA road racer of all time, and that's across all classes. Um, you're a four-time AMA Superbike champion, and I'm fort fort unfortunately, I'm old enough to have seen most of them. <laughs> all of them. But I'm also <laughs> fortunate that I have seen a lot of them. So tell us a little bit about... Also, I want to tell you, I think the fourth place today in that superbike race <laughs> is more impressive than winning the supersport race. And Thank you. you'd probably agree. But I mean, you've had a pretty damn good day. So why don't you just tell us what's going through your mind at this point? It's been a pretty good weekend so far. Even on the superbike, it's gone well, other than my little tip over um, this morning, which would have changed my grid position quite a bit, you know, because it's so close all the way down the line. Superbike, I was a little tentative on the first laps. The 600, I'm in attack mode. And I was really glad the 600 race was first. Um, that's still my primary goal was to win on that bike. And I was uh, doing like I have all year, try to be super aggressive in the first laps and get myself to the front. Fortunately, I was able to open up a little bit of a gap and I was able to manage it. And the managing was coming pretty easy. I was doing low 34s without much drama and uh, just really happy. The hardest part was staying focused in the last few laps and uh, just because I was happy and, and super excited. Probably the hardest part was when I, when I rolled into a victory circle and Melissa was standing there with my kids. There's a reason my helmet didn't come up too quick, right. <laughs> you know? But yeah, I mean, for the, the Squid Hunter team and I, we've been working for this <laughs> hard for a year of race stuff. I really enjoyed every race we've been in this year and uh, been in the fight a lot. And it's uh, more relief than anything to get that done, out of the way. We don't have to talk about it anymore. Let's just go have some fun and race now. 750 Super Sport, 1999. 1999 at Daytona. My first real like pro race as a regular Right, that was the first series. time I knew who Josh Hayes was. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Cause you yeah. normally know about a guy before he actually just wins and you just kind of came in and won. And then a dry spell until 2003 I wasn't going to bring that up. Where I rode for Richard Stamboli <laughs> yes. and won the championship my first year. 20 oh, years are. ago, I rode for Richard for this year. you are. <laughs> 20 years ago. How long ago does that 1999 seem? Does it, is it one of those things that seems like five minutes ago, and then sometimes it feels like 50 years ago? No, it, it's a lifetime ago, you yeah. know? Like, that was longer ago than some of the people I'm racing against. Yeah. <laughs> now, but Tyler Scott wasn't born yet. Right. right. <laughs> He, he wouldn't have been. Okay. Was, was Bowie eight? At, 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 at 48 years old. Now that's at, the, that's the thing, right? At right. 48 years 48 old. 48 years like, old, and you just finished fourth in an AMA Superbike old, race. Old gray beard here. What, and you, you got faster as the race went on. Yeah. What, is that just a case of just doing more laps? I mean, yes, somewhat doing more laps helps me. Um, the transition was a little difficult and honestly i was just a little tentative in the first laps you know and i haven't launched this bike before <laughs> going through the gears through turn one the bike is a lot happening a lot of aggressive top level riders around you and i i was probably a little more cautious than necessary but i'm strong into three and so you know i was kind of like just picking my spots and i'm also you know this this attack Yamaha is different than any superbike I've ridden before. And so I've been I've been working on riding one line around the racetrack all weekend. And then you go get into a racing situation where you're offline and you're trying to come up with some different moves and it's trying to understand what the bike's doing underneath you and figure out how to take advantage of it. So a little bit of it is like coming up with where can I make passes and, and things like that. And then when I could run clean laps, I was actually, I would, I would bring time in and then it would take me a little while to figure out how and where to make my moves. And I was just trying to be patient. I said, well, I ran them down. I know one or two spots on the racetrack where I seem to be really strong and I just want to take care of those parts and not miss apexes on the rest. And so um, I did feel like I had quite a bit to deal with. Like this is all, we, we've had, what, this is our fourth session on the bike. Every session we've made changes to help with some of the things I'm looking for from the bike. but. Uh, some of those changes are coming in small increments and not very quickly. So I had to manage a few things with, with the loss of grip in the in the race there, which I think had a lot to do with the red flag. 
um, in, the, in the heat cycle in the tire. But I had to manage quite a few things. And I just feel like when it comes to that situation of managing things, I, I it's my experience pays off. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Give me number one, the camera. Come on, a little more stuff. Than that. Come on, <laughs> oh, man. You can't it's even it's let this 